Dreams About Japan Broadcasting and Fishing April 17, 2017 In this dream, I went to Japan and I found myself in a place where I was listening to the radio, and something was being said, but I don't remember what was being broadcasted. I felt it was something about God. I also had this vague impression it was in a foreign language. I guess this broadcast drew me to the next scene in Japan. In this part of my dream, I found myself fishing, but I didn't have a fishing rod in my hand. Rather, I was picking up something from the sea by using a pair of tongs, like the ones used in a kitchen. From what I could tell, I could have been on a small island because I was surrounded by water. In the next scene, I met some people there. I thought they were Japanese. I asked them to teach me how to catch fish or sea creatures, and they were very willing to help me, and they were also using tongs. Or at least I remember I was using tongs. Something was caught, but I don't think it was a fish, but something else. Later, I found my hand was hurt, and I asked one of the guys to help me. He seemed strong and tall and was the leader of these people. I felt he was the Lord, but I wasn't sure. Then I saw him opening a hole in his leg and pouring out something from that hole. I guess it could be sea salt or something that would heal my hand. I put the sea salt on my hand and rubbed my hand. He told me it would take a while to sterilize it or heal it. I suddenly realized that I could not find my bag, and I needed to find it, because it contained something very important. Then one of the guys in the group shot out a thread or a rope. Then I found myself being pushed by this rope to other places. One of my teachers in the Christian Healing Certification Program offered by Global Awakening had a vision for me at the same time. She saw I was riding on a horse with a lasso in my hand to catch people for Christ with the love of God. I felt it helped to understand the rope and the propelling power of the rope behind it. I then met some Japanese people on the road, and I saw some people were playing basketball. As I was running, I suddenly felt the burden to preach the gospel to the Japanese people. I felt the love of God towards the Japanese flowing in me, which was not normal for me. I am Chinese, and I have never had a burden to preach the gospel to Japanese people before these dreams. When I was under the basketball hoops, I caught the basketball and landed, and knelt down and said sorry. I woke up about 6.30 a.m., fed the baby, and went back to sleep again. I began dreaming, and I saw a screen which showed information related to preaching the gospel to Japan. I couldn't remember it in detail, but it was something like this. The movie on the screen said, One American went to Japan and had a good start. Then I saw people walking to different Japanese villages to preach the gospel to them. I saw a family with a young boy, and they went to the entrance of a Japanese village, and I saw some Japanese people in their traditional clothing come out in the village to talk with them. They asked the Japanese people if they were open to receive something non-Japanese, like Chinese people and the gospel. Some seemed to refuse the offer. Then they went to the next village, and some were willing. Later, it looked like they set up a station and reached some goals in preaching the gospel. This part of the dream seemed to be a movie or a story told on a big screen. Inspiration in different prophetic dreams, radio broadcasting may represent God's voice. After I heard the broadcast, I was gradually attracted to fishing in the seas of Japan. This may represent that God is gradually calling me, and perhaps one day I will go to Japan to preach the gospel. What happens in prophetic dreams and visions are sometimes just things that already happened in the spirit, but will eventually happen in the future, because there is no time limit in the spirit. Fishing on Japanese islands is obviously a metaphor of going to Japan to preach the gospel. Before these prophetic dreams, I didn't have much of a burden to go to Japan to preach the gospel. In this dream, 
God not only gave me the burden for Japan, but he also communicated the difficulties I'll encounter there. As everyone knows, it's quite difficult to preach the gospel to the Japanese people. I will definitely encounter obstacles in the process. In this prophetic dream, I injured my hand while fishing. The Japanese man took out something like sea salt from the wound or hole in his leg to apply it to my hand and heal me. I think this person is the Lord Jesus in disguise. The hole in his leg may be his nail marks, because Jesus' death on the cross accomplished healing for all of us. When I left here, a mysterious thread or rope was thrown behind me. Although it was a rope, it had great strength, holding me back from moving forward. This may represent the filling of the Holy Spirit, because after this incident, I saw that many Japanese people were filled with God's love for them. Basketball is often a way that God speaks to me in my dreams, indicating the battle between the gospel and darkness, between Christians and Satan. The church and Christians are on one team, and the enemy is on the other team. We fight against the enemy under the leadership of our coach, Jesus Christ. God has used basketball many times as a picture of the gospel to speak to me. That's why when I dream about Japanese people playing basketball, I see the spread of the gospel in Japan and the opposition from the enemy. I was filled with miraculous power and God's love, so I joined the game. After I got the ball, I said I was sorry. Perhaps I was apologizing for joining the game too late. While I was having this prophetic dream, one of my teachers in the Christian Healing Certification Program saw a vision. She saw me riding a horse, holding the cowboy's lariat in my hand, twirling the lasso, and preparing to catch the horse. She received an inspiration and said that God would fill me with his love and let me use his love to make a rope to catch those whom he wants to save. What she shared and the rope in my dream expressed the same meaning. Scenario number two. On the same night, I had two prophetic dreams about Japan. This dream is not only a guide for my own future. This dream may also indicate that many Chinese people will go to Japan to preach the gospel in the future. There have always been Chinese people who have gone to Japan to preach the gospel or have become Christians after immigrating to Japan. They have all done their part in Japan's evangelization process. I feel that in the future, China may raise up even more Chinese people to go to Japan to preach the gospel. There are many prophecies that mention that after China's great revival in the future, many Chinese missionaries will be raised up to preach the gospel around the world. It is highly possible that many Chinese people will go to Japan to preach the gospel. One way God speaks to me through dreams is by showing me a movie on the big screen. As the movie is playing, I will enter a prophetic vision and observe what actually happened. In other words, I enter the movie scene itself. After the vision is almost over, I will come out of the vision and see that this is a movie playing on the screen. I have had many such experiences. This American missionary who I saw in my dream is a modern American missionary. I came into contact with him on Facebook. When I first had this dream, I didn't understand that when God lets us see a person, it doesn't necessarily refer to this person, but to a characteristic represented by this person. I even sent a message to said missionary on Facebook telling him about my prophetic dreams, but I didn't get a reply from him. Later, I gradually understood that when God lets us dream about a certain person, it's not necessarily about that person. It's about what his personality and characteristics represent. I'm speculating that the American missionary here represents the people in God's previous move. They laid the foundation for God's preaching in Japan. The Chinese family I saw later may represent the Chinese that God wants to raise up. The family preached the gospel from village to village, but the roadblocks indicate the hardness in the Japanese people's hearts. The question asked by the Chinese child is also very strange. He said, 
Do you accept things other than the Japanese people, such as the Chinese and the Gospel? This is a good question. It illustrates the Japanese people's closed hearts and the difficulty of evangelism there. In the vision, I saw that people in this village rejected the Gospel, but these Chinese people did not give up. They went to the next village and finally succeeded in opening the hearts of the Japanese people. I feel that Chinese people will play a very important role in Japan's great revival. My other prophetic dreams confirm this, especially the dreams where I stood at the door of my childhood home in China and turned on the signal light to signal to the plane that was coming from Japan. Perhaps China's great revival will have a great impact on Japan's coming great revival. Of course, Japan's great revival may also increase the possibility of China's great revival. Great revival.